Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel. This is to answer a question that a lot of people are asking and it is an important question because there's a lot of people that have data caps on their um, uh, internet connection. And of course that means that you have to um, you know, take the time to, to understand how much of data you're going to use if you upgrade to the version 2004. So here's the thing. Uh, there's two size or probably maybe more than two, but there are several different sizes of the upgrade process to Windows 10, and it depends how you download it and use it. If you download the image with the media creation tool, like I've shown in the last video, you will have downloaded an image that is 3.85 gigabytes. You see it here, okay? It's roughly four gigabytes of size. It fits on a DVD. I still get a lot of people saying, it doesn't fit. Yes, it does. It does fit on a DVD. I've done it so many times. It really does. So if you can create a DVD, you'll be able to do it. As for the size, it is different when you actually update through Windows Update. So there's a possibility of Windows Update being more in the five to six gigabytes sometimes, which is weird, I know, but the size really, really is different depending on where you download it. My recommendation is to download it from the media creation tool because that's where it, you know it's four gigabytes, you'll know that it's that. And you can use that image to upgrade your system if you want. Um, if you don't have a data cap, of course, go through Windows Update, it's fine. But it's weird that it's not the same depending on where you actually do it. Um, so check it out. But roughly, for the most part, it's around four to five gigabytes. Um, you know, you just have to hope because on Windows Update, one of the things you have to hope is that it's not going to create some error and want to re-download again. Because that is something that I've seen. And you can end up having two, three, four times a download of Windows 10 for some reason. And that makes it really huge suddenly. So, um, you know, you can use the media creation tool that I've shown. Get it. It's a roughly 3.85 gigabytes. You'll know that's the size. And what's nice about it is that um, by downloading the image, creating yourself a DVD or a flash drive to update is also a good thing because you'll only download it once. If you have multiple PCs, you might end up downloading several gigabytes more because you will each each machine will want to download from the internet also. And uh, you, you could end up, if you have more than one machine, with a huge amount of gigabytes used on your uh, internet connection. So you know, my recommendation would be to download it with the media creation tool. Create your flash drive or DVD and use that to upgrade your system especially if you have more than one PC it's going to be just one download and that's it if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching